Hey guys, uh, after our last spaghetti MRE review, I've got two more MRE, MREs here. Uh, this one we're going to do menu 16 chicken fajita. Fajita. Uh, also made by the Ameriquel packaging. And date code on this one is 8264, so the 264th day of 2008. So right around there. You know, in the middle somewhere. Well, towards like the. Towards the end. Not well, towards the end. There's still like 100 days. So. A quarter of the. Three quarters of the way. Peel will seal. Let's go ahead and. A little less. Than three. Peel open this seal. You're bad at this. They're tough. Take them right. out. Take them out. All right. So what do we got here? What do we got? Oh, we got another another. Uh, Tightly packed box in this one here. So let's uh wonder if the FRA will work this time. I'm hoping so. I was kind of disappointed that there was that one was a dud because watching all those other videos, you know, you kinda want all that to work. So why don't you go ahead and get us started and what we have. First, chicken fajita filling. Chicken fajita filling, uh oh, white meat. See. So that one's good. We've got some Mexican style rice. Mexican style rice? I've never noticed the Ameriquel logo there. Hmm. Got some big snack crackers, just plain cheddar flavor. I'm assuming these are going to be regular Cheez Its. Regular Cheez Its. I like regular Cheez Its. We're in a Cheez It mood today. Or this. Tortillas. Tortillas. <laughs> Oh yeah, so we got two tortillas. These ones are actually by the Warnick Company out of Cincinnati, Ohio. So these are probably gonna be cracked on the middle. They tend to all be cracked on the middle. And my favorite cheese spread again. Hopefully this one is a little better. This one feels a little firmer than the last one. Give it a good knead. We've got Irish cream instant powder. Irish cream instant powder. Mm -hmm. Um, that looks to be seasoning blend. A seasoning, seasoning blend. This is weird. Um, I don't know oh how many goodness. times this happens, but there were there are two brown MRE spoons in here. So there we go. New FRH. Hopefully this one does a little better than the last one. Hot beverage bag. Another hot beverage bag. We didn't get to use the last one. Uh, maybe we'll, I don't know, we'll see how this goes. And then we've got our accessory pack. And this one, let's see what we got. Spice cider. Spice cider instant apple flavor drink mix. Matches. Another set of uh, MRE matches. Salts. Four grams of iodized salt. Gums. These will be just, I'm assuming, like spearmint or. They seem like they're a little sticky in there. So, because it's a white package. And more toilet paper. More TPs. And moist toilet. And another moist toilet. So, alright, we're gonna go ahead and get this started. Alright, so now it's time to make our main dish and our side dish. Um, we're gonna try the regular old FRH again. The last one we did with our spaghetti was a dud. So hopefully this one works a little better. So we're going to go ahead and punch the camera. Get these opened up. As you can see here we've got Bye. As you can see here we've got Mexican rice. I'm just going to open this over here now. And here we've got chicken fajita. Chicken fajita. So you can feel the uh, the chunks of chicken in there. Quite chickeny. Quite mm -hmm. chickeny. Exactly. So go ahead and pull this on out a little bit. Insert. We're going to insert the FR the uh, 
to the entree, into the FRH here. Both up slightly to get them above the line. And now this one too, we're gonna probably slip this in with the box with it being underneath of it, inside the box, so that it can get heat from that as well. So let's go ahead, we've got the, the do not overfill up the line there. We'll go ahead and get that taken care of. Where are we at here? We're right there, right at the line. So we're gonna go ahead and put these, push these on down, fold this over, and then I'll let it soak and get all the elements here. Let's see how, make sure we're getting that all nice and wet. I think I'm getting a little bit of a little bit of warmth from it. It's so definitely. we're gonna go ahead. Yep, we're getting a little bit of heat off of here, so let's go ahead and stuff it into the box. Like so we're gonna take the Mexican rice and stick it on the the bottom of it. And today our rocker something is gonna be an old camera. So we will lean that against that and we will come back to that in about 15 minutes. So in the meantime, let's get our rest of our food ready. All right, time for drinks. Uh, this is the fun, you know, shake and mix in the pack and you can actually drink it from this pouch as well. So we got the Irish cream cappuccino instant powder. It says use hot or cold water. So of course we're going to use hot water. Oh no, oh no, that's hot. Yeah, it's gonna be hot. Let's go ahead and, and we are a little bit more to the line. Zip it. So then you just, you just zip it on up. Doesn't feel like it really wants to zip up. I'm gonna double check that so we don't get water everywhere. Right. Fold this over. And shake. Then you, you, oh, it like, exp, it like expanded. There's heat in there and it's tightly sealed. Oh, and then it opened up a little bit. Now you went a little too crazy there, I think. And time for to pour that out. So we're gonna go with the, I think, orange cup today. Well, I got a little froth at the end. A little froth at the end. Just the way it in smells the good. shop. Smell it? Mm, it does smell good. And as, as Kiwi Dude says, Magic. And then now we're gonna do the the uh, spiced the cider. So we'll go ahead and add in. It says about it says six ounces of water. We decided we would do hot water as well on the spiced cider, just because it's spiced cider and just a spiced drink just sounds better hot. cider drink here. Go ahead and it looks like it's gonna be pretty dark. Pour it on in there. And we'll get one of our MRE spoons and you can smell that spice cider. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm. 
And there we are. We've got two drinks right there. We've got our Irish cream, kept was it Irish cream cappuccino instant powder, and the spiced apple cider. All right. So now let's go ahead and get our our snacks and our side dishes all set up. We've got baked snack crackers, cheddar flavor. Let's go ahead and get that open on up and we got more crushed more crushed Cheez-Its and that does not seem to have survived very <laughs> very well so we've got that we've also got here the what are we opening here our tortillas you got some tortillas there should be yeah. two of them in there yeah, it and says serving size two, servings per container one. And it should be, I'm assuming they're going to be cracked like they normally are. Struggling. Done struggling. They still feel very uh, moist. And they still feel pliable, but the real test is going to be opening them up. And yep, sure enough, they cracked right away. So well, they've been folded up for. They've been folded up for the past seven years. Seven years. So they're fine. But I mean, they look like tortillas. They look just like something you would buy in the store. So we'll go ahead and put that there. Um, we will actually probably put some of them here for our for our actual fajita mix, but we're gonna put our cheese. Put cheese spread on we're gonna one put of them. cheese spread on one of them. Let's go ahead and knead this on up. This one feels a little firmer than the last one that we had. We'll go ahead and it says to tear it here. Well, how long has our food been cooking? Okay. We're gonna use a knife on this one. Still going. That's a good sign. It's not what we got with our last one. So we're gonna see how this. We got tortilla here, and we got totally different consistency. Yeah, that was a lot nicer. You put in a lot of cheese on there, though. Still, still seems to be about the same color almost a little um, browner than you would expect it to be. So we'll go ahead and leave this here with that. And then next is the entree. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've, it's been about, about 15 minutes. I don't know if you can hear it, but it is making some noise is still in there. So let's go ahead and crack it on open. Is there any warmth to that at all? Uh, a little bit. There is some warmth to the to the sides of this. Mainly, this edge is warm. Nothing. Oh, we're spilling some water, baby. Well, nothing else really is is warm. So, but I think Let's go ahead. these are designed to just be eaten on the field uh, the way they are, so let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and open this rice. Oh, spilling some. Let's probably do it right over this. Oh no. Come on. There's this little, there it is. All right. That would be a nice little mess here. What do you got here? So. It smells good. It has a very tomato y smell. It does, very tomato y. I would say this one probably would be better on the warmer side, but it's designed to where it doesn't need to be. And then on to our main dish here. The Chicken fajita. I'm just kneading it. Warm in there. 
It's, it's, I mean, if you want to feel it, it's got a little bit of warmth to it, especially down this end. So, kneading it around, maybe spreading the warmth around a little bit. Nowhere near as hot as the last one. The last one we cheated though. Yeah. Oops. All of that. Very messy. It's one thing about these. We got some chicken still in there. So you can see in there it looks it looks pretty good. It uh it does have a strong smell to it, that's for sure. I'm going to get that on out, and I know I didn't get everything in that one. So let's go ahead and open it up, and then scrape out any extras that we have. The cats over there are acting very interested. So there you have it. There is the the uh, chicken fajita, chicken fajita, and uh, Spanish rice, Mexican style rice. So let's go ahead and give everything a taste. Give it a taste. I'm gonna start with start with standard. Cheese it. There might only I think that's the only whole cheese it in the entire thing. So you can see here. And they're they're just regular old cheese. It's nothing special. Tastes good, just like a cheese. They don't have the same um, stale taste as the last one. No, that taste. Okay, so we tasted the cheese. It up next is the tortilla with a little bit of a little bit of cheese on it. Look at that up close. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna fold it over, kind of spread the cheese around a little. Low quesadilla. Mmm. Let's go ahead, and I'm assuming that means it was terrible. Mmm. Way better than the cheese from the last one. The cheese is much better. It's softer. Way more cheddary too. It's softer. It's creamier. It's it's definitely definitely better. So let's go ahead and try some of this Mexican style rice. You can see here it's still, it's a little, you know, it didn't heat up all the way, so it's still a little, you know, solid. Let's go ahead and You are a very loud eater. This probably could have been better if it had warmed up. But you know, it's got you can see all the little pieces of like tomato in there. Um, little pieces that looks like maybe like bell pepper. Not the best. It just it's a little it's a little, it's a little firm. Really we we might yeah. actually microwave this <laughs> after it. So, but in the meantime, on to the main event here, which is our. No, we also have that seasoning packet. We do have that seasoning packet, and we do have some salt, too. So, let's go ahead and put a little bit of this, this mixture on here. Uh, you can see in here that it has, it's very much, you've got your chicken. Chicken, I can see some peppers in there. They're actually pretty decent sized. Tomato that's about to fall in your hand. Pretty decent sized pieces of chicken. So go ahead and take a bite out of this. And so we can if you want to take a look at it inside the tortilla as well. There it is. And definitely not bad but it's a it's a nice little you know it's a it's a nice little meal I think I like the spaghetti a little better I need some salt in there for sure but 
let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do that then we got the iodized salt we'll put the little bit over top of everything here on top of there they give you a, that's a lot of salt in there too we want to have that seasoning bond or see how it tastes with just the salt I think we'll go ahead and just you know live life a little crazy and put the uh, we'll put the seasoning blend on there too it doesn't have salt in it though it's salt free it's salt free so let's go ahead and that's good because we just put a bunch of salt on it So there's that. So let's go ahead and stir that up as well. And then we'll go ahead and try it on a fresh tortilla. This bite looks like it's gonna have a lot more, a lot more chicken in it. As you can see there, you, I don't know, you can see a little bit of the seasoning mix. Let's go ahead and give that a try. Salt comes out a little bit. I didn't really get too much of the seasoning mix, but you can definitely taste the salt in a little more. So let's, let's try those it. drinks. So we have the Irish cream cappuccino instant powder mix. That is tasty. Very, very, very tasty. I wish that it made more than six ounces. Mm, yeah. It's a lot sweeter than I thought it was going to be. For some reason, I didn't think it was going to be sweet at all, but... It tastes like, if you were, I don't even know what it really tastes like. It tastes like good. It's very sweet. And then we have the spiced cider mix. Um, we went ahead and did hot water, even though it didn't say hot or cold. And I'm glad we did uh, hot water on that one. Oh yeah, that was meant to be hot. Also very sweet. Mm -hmm. Very so, cinnamony. So that's that's the uh, the fajita, the chicken fajita um, menu sixteen. Go ahead and throw some more rice in this twenty. Wasn't bad. Um, not my favorite. I mean, I've only had two, so I don't really have much to base it off of. I liked the spaghetti a little more, but also I grew up with. Chef Boyardee canned spaghetti. And some more cheese. So, let's see how this goes then. You know, I feel, I feel the, the FRH um, hasn't done what it was supposed to do. I think it was supposed to be a little bit, a little bit warmer. That was a good idea. All right. That was, that's the way to do it. Just mix everything together into put one basically on big tortilla. bowl, put it on a tortilla, and you're good to go. So, we're gonna go ahead and, and finish this MRE, and hope you guys like it. Um, Thanks like, for watching. Like this video if you want to see more. We like we like doing this. Uh, if you've got any suggestions or anything or feedback, let us know. It, this is a fun thing to do. Mm -hmm. So I'm Ryan. I'm Nicole. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. And then we've got our accessory pack. And this one. Let's see what we got. Spice cider. Spice cider instant apple flavor drink mix. Matches? Another set of uh, MRE matches. Salts. Four grams of iodized salt. Gums. These will be just, I'm assuming, like spearmint or. They seem like they're a little sticky in there. So, because it's a white package. And more toilet paper. More TPs. And moist toilet. And another moist towelette. So, all right, we're gonna go ahead and
Hey guys, uh, after our last spaghetti MRE review, I've got two more MRE, MREs here. Uh, this one we're going to do menu 16 chicken fajita. Fajita. Uh, also made by the Ameriquel packaging. And date code on this one is 8264, so the 264th day of 2008. So right around there. You know, in the middle somewhere. Well, towards like the. Towards the end. Not little towards little the end. There's still another 100 days. So. A quarter of the. Three quarters of the way. Peel will seal. Let's go ahead and. A little less than three. Peel open this seal. Give it a good knead. We've got Irish cream instant powder. Irish cream instant powder. Mm. Um. That looks to be. Seasoning blend. A seasoning, seasoning blend. This is weird. Um, I don't know oh how many goodness. times this happens, but there were there are two brown MRE spoons in here. So there we go. New FRH. Hopefully this one does a little better than the last one. Hot beverage bag. Another hot beverage bag. We didn't get to use the last one. Uh, maybe we'll... You're bad at this. They're tough. Take All them right. out. Take them out. Alright, so what do we got here? What do we got? Oh, we got another another uh, tightly packed box in this one here. So let's... I uh, wonder if the FRH will work this time. I'm hoping so. I was kind of disappointed that there was that one was a dud because... Watching all those other videos, you know, you kind of want all that to work. So, why don't you go ahead and get us started and what we have? First, chicken fajita filling. Chicken fajita filling, uh, oh, white meat. It. So, that one's good. We've got some Mexican style rice. Mexican style rice? I've never noticed the Americwell logo there. Hmm. Got some baked snack crackers, just plain cheddar flavor. I'm assuming these are going to be regular Cheez Its. Regular Cheez Its. I like regular Cheez Its. We're in a Cheez It mood today. Or this. Tortillas. Tortillas. <laughs> oh, yeah, so we got two tortillas. These ones are actually by the Warnick Company out of Cincinnati, Ohio. So these are probably going to be cracked on the middle. They tend to all be cracked on the middle. And my favorite cheese spread again. Hopefully this one is a little better. This one feels a little firmer than the last one. 